Welcome to season six, The Starry Achievers. Today, we have a dynamic lady from UAE, Mrs. Sharda Sundareshan. Welcome to the show, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Welcome. And uh, if you could tell our listeners about yourself and the startup. Definitely, I'll do so. Uh, firstly, uh, uh, I would like, I mean, it's a great honor for me to join your uh, show. Uh, actually, startup is uh, something wherein it will be a dream for everyone. So anything that we need to, uh, I mean, we have to achieve is that it's only from the baby steps that we are going to do. So those baby steps are the ones uh, that is going to take us to the castle. So hence, uh, startups are very much important in order to make our dreams come true. So that is what I feel like about the startups. And uh, just to have a small or a brief uh, introduction about myself, uh, I, I'm basically a, a, a legal graduate, law graduate. And uh, I have also done a couple of uh, degree and I also have to my credit a couple of degrees after my name, uh, wherein I have done my uh, diploma in labor laws and uh, diploma of personal and uh, industrial relations as well. Uh, all back in Chennai, that is in uh, uh, India only, Tamil Nadu. Uh, thereafter, I did my uh, PG DBM after coming to UAE. So that was for a period of like uh, three years. So uh, uh, wherein I wanted to improve, uh, improve on my career. So uh, that is where I completed my PG DBM through uh, IMT Ghaziabad. So this okay. is uh, as far as my graduation part is uh, concerned. And uh, coming up for the uh, career, uh, as you know, <laughs> my career, I, I wanted to uh, pursue, I mean, I pursued law with the main uh, dream, like I wanted to practice as an advocate back in Chennai. But uh, due to some circumstances, I wasn't able to do so. So, but uh, definitely it's uh, no regrets at all for me because uh, I have found a better career also right now. Uh, though that uh, a small hitch is always there that I wasn't able to uh, pursue my career as an advocate. Uh, definitely I'm in touch with my subject every now and then. Now I can't say like every now and then, I'm in touch with my subject uh, literally all days. So it's not like I'm off my uh, subject at all. So uh, that is as far as my, uh, I mean, a little link with my law. And coming up to my uh, career right now, as for the startup, my startup name is called as uh, Swasti Trends. So Swasti Trends is basically, uh, it's, it's like a reselling sari business, wherein I'm uh, doing the uh, sari business online. So uh, these days, online businesses are very, very uh, uh, famous actually. And that too, during this uh, pandemic, everyone uh, way behind the uh, online sales. So Amazon, Flipkart, and a uh, lot of other online sales were in uh, great hype. So during this uh, two and a half, three years uh, span of our uh, pandemic. So uh, uh, though uh, I couldn't start up at that particular time, uh, this uh, startup actually, it's uh, just uh, it's going to be like a two and a half months old baby. My startup is uh, just two and a half uh, oh, months old baby. Uh, though it's two and a half months, I was able to get a lot of trust from my customers, a lot of support from my friends, a lot of support from my relatives. And the best part is that the support that I have from my family is awesome. So, uh, the, main, so the main thing why I want to stress at this point is that uh, right now I'm a homemaker. Because though I have, uh, to my credits, a lot of other degrees also, I was, uh, I was, I mean, uh, working in as a lecturer for a decade over uh, in uh, Sharjah in UAE. So uh, after that, I had to uh, quit my job and uh, move into Dubai. Uh, so after that, I completely transformed into a homemaker. So I don't want to coin myself as a housewife. Rather, I want to re refine myself as a homemaker. So definitely homemaker has uh, even uh, more job to do. <laughs> uh, so I don't want to uh, I mean, call myself as a housewife. Mm, 
because uh, the more diplomatic way i feel like it is a homemaker right now and many homemakers even till date they have a i mean it's a, like a myth or i can say like a taboo wherein they feel like okay they, we don't have anything else to do uh, i mean just uh, i mean sending our children back uh, to school and doing our household chores uh, and spending our uh, uh, i mean time somewhere here and there productively doing this or that or uh, doing our uh, other household activities etc but i thought like uh, something has to be uh, i mean something can be done even though we are going to be homemakers so that way that thought was the one that made me form up this particular uh, business called as my swasti trends so swasti itself it means in sanskrit as auspiciousness the prosperity so hence i thought like that positivity should be spread through this uh, particular business and hence i started up my uh, business as swasti trends okay so now it is like uh, the journey that you have mentioned this is very interesting because uh, though you are not practicing but the knowledge of law and uh, whatever education you had that always comes into one's uh, you know use it doesn't Definitely. go away Definitely. and uh, you've done the lecture part also and uh, so that itself is an extension and now you are spreading positivity connecting with people and uh, giving them something very authentic that's true correct that's wonderful and nice name and we wish you all the best with your startup that's swasti trends okay tell me Thank something so which is uh, like when you were growing up did you dream yourself to be you know doing or end up doing into something like this ever uh actually i didn't have any dream as for any uh, i mean self employment type of uh, business because as i ha always had like only uh, my dream as in the professional side wherein uh, that was the main idea why during my uh, 11th and 12th itself i chose uh, that that i mean that is going to be beneficial for my university level so uh, that way i can uh, definitely vouch and say like i did not have any kind of dream that i'll be pursuing this kind of career right now what i have started up uh, i mean uh, what i have st what i have started up right now so uh, as uh, when we talk about dream we can only remember about our dr uh, apj's quote nothing at all so as you always uh, said actually dream is not what you see in sleep but it is the thing that uh, doesn't allow you to sleep for me dream was something like i wanted to practice but as i said uh, i mean though i wasn't able to practice also i am still in touch with my subject but i wanted to do something because uh, that was also part of the dream wherein i did not want myself to remain idle so that particular uh, cause was the thing wherein i wanted to start up this particular uh, uh, concern as swasti trends it is basically online sales only wherein it doesn't involve any kind of investment or uh, anything it's going to be very good for the uh, homemakers especially and uh, also for those uh, who are thinking of uh, doing something like earning some kind of pocket money even for the college students definitely this is going to be much much uh, useful provided we have good kind of contacts so contacts is one thing that is very much uh, important for uh, this particular uh, line of business so uh, such as i told uh, i didn't have much uh, dreams as such so being in a middle class section sometimes it so happens that we may have to forego our dreams for the sake of the family so somewhere they will uh, still be lying latent but with some jerk with some push suddenly it will uh, pop up somewhere so probably that spark came up to my uh, uh, life a little uh, later stage i can say so that was the reason of my swasti uh, trends right now that's interesting because yes uh, as you had rightly said at times and this is very common also sometimes you know we have to give up on the dream that we have exactly. aspired and exactly. do something else but the passion to keep on doing something or the other and not being idle that is very important and that you have beautifully highlighted 
Thank you. So, uh, anything that you would like to tell the younger kids, uh, those who are in college or some, you know, at that level? Of course, yes. Uh, right now, this particular generation, they have everything in their hand. So, uh, there's no kid without an Android phone right now. So, they can definitely use that Android to the best uh, in a productive manner, I can say. So, uh, uh, because the talent that they have, sometimes uh, they themselves do not know what kind of potentials that these generation people they have. They uh, like spend their time, uh, most of their time in the Android uh, playing games or chatting with their friends or whiling away their time some way or the other. But uh, rather than while uh, do, doing that way, if they are going to use that technology to the best of their to the best of their abilities, then definitely they are going to reach a greater height. So that is what is uh, my advice to the younger generation. So uh, definitely they know like the pros and cons also of the uh, technology as well. They know the boon, they know the curse of these technology. They are even more knowledgeable than, uh, uh, than the elders. So in fact, they teach uh, uh, their own uh, parents about uh, the handling of the telephone I mean, and the Androids and other things. So that being the case, they are much aware of everything, but being so also, they are going to use it to the best of their advantage, like how productive, like they can make it for themselves, then definitely uh, technology is going to be their uh, best part, is going to be their added advantage. So uh, that is what I came to know after starting my Swasti Trends. So this is my uh, very, very little advice to the uh, younger generation today. So what I understand, it's like the youth today, they should use the technology to the best ability and the sky is the limit. Of course, of course, yes, of course, yes. Okay, and uh, how do you do your business online? Like uh, how do people order through you? Yes, ma'am. Actually, uh, I have, uh, I mean, initially when I started up, it was like uh, only through the friends wherein I formed like a WhatsApp group. And I've got few uh, genuine, uh, I have to say like uh, genuine dealers, uh, because genuine is very, very important, especially for online sales, because there are a lot of dealers wherein you get, uh, you might enter into uh, fraudulent dealers also at some point of time because I have come across uh, in this three months itself about a lot of complaints from uh, many circles as well. So touch wood, like I haven't encountered any uh, such problem till now, but uh, though those who want up, uh, I mean, those who want to do uh, this kind of online sales, firstly, you have to make sure like your dealers are really, really genuine dealers. And at the same time, quality should never be compromised in any kind of online sales, whatever be it. Because I have no, I'm not going to see the product. I'm not going to have any physical touch with the product, nor my customer. So whatever I see, only I'm going to inform my customers as well. So that being the case, I have to gather the proper information from my uh, dealers. So whatever questions that I ask, my dealers also must be able to uh, give me give me the answers in a very, very patient manner so that I can give the same answers to my customers that they want. So sometimes it might so happen also the dealers in the uh, greed of making much money, right? So uh, these days we call it as quick money sometimes, right? So in the greed of making money, they might also be giving some, uh, I mean, misleading information about the product. So that also we need to be very, very careful. So uh, as far as my, uh, I mean, experience for past three months is concerned, I feel like a little bit of psychological understanding, psychological, uh, uh, what to say? Yeah, the psychological understanding between uh, yourself, the dealer and the customer, is very, very important in this particular online sales. So it's like one should have the transparency, trust and a rapport between the of dealer, course, yes. yourself and the client. Yes, of course, because there might be certain circumstances wherein, uh, I mean, the product might be uh, not available. You must have to uh, convince your customers telling like, no, uh, first I will check the availability and then I will get back to you because you cannot immediately get the money from them and thereupon check the availability and I have to disappoint your customers. So that should not be the case. Uh, 
So uh, hence the trust is very much uh, important. Though money also, I, I don't, uh, I don't say like uh, here you will be able to get like uh, more zeros and zeros and zeros added to your credit. Definitely, margin is going to be a little low because it's uh, sari is something which uh, which uh, people are not going to purchase on a day to day basis. So only while during the occasions or while while they are going to gift it for certain occasions or while they are going to gift it for certain friends on some of their uh, events or something only, this is going to be happening. So this is not going to be like everyday uh, happening. So some sometimes you might be having some uh, slack might be there. That is, you might be lagging behind the sales for a month and suddenly you might see a pop up the next month wherein you might be having a boom of uh, 20 customers also for you in a row. So it, it all, uh, I mean, changes as per the uh, trend, the uh, saris that you're, uh, uh, I mean, uploading. And at the same time, the customer rapid uh, that you're having is uh, very, very important over here. And through the word of mouth, only this is going to spread. And the word of mouth, why, uh, as I'm telling is that this definitely shows the trust that you and your customers would have been having so that that customer will be spreading to others. So hence the uh, type of product that you deliver must be a quality one. And at the same time, the prices also show, I mean, the prices also should be reasonable. So just because it is uh, going to be a uh, thousand or 1,200 for the particular sari, you cannot quote it as 3,000 for that sari, which is going to be abnormal, right? So hence, uh, all these has to be kept in mind. You can have a profit margin, like, okay, 15%, which is going to be the maximum 15 to 17% profit margin. So uh, uh, likewise, if, if you're going to uh, sell it, then definitely it is going to be a, a good one, both for you as a seller and at the same time uh, as for the buyer from the point of view of the customer also. So it's like one needs to be patient and also evaluate the market price and then keep the product price. Definitely is, definitely is. Because uh, okay. as I told you, now we do have the technology and we can definitely read the market price also. We can read the market price and we can see how the, uh, because these products, so certain products that I have, uh, most of the saris, uh, definitely if you go to the shop also, you might not be getting them. And definitely, I mean, uh, the, the, the salespersons being uh, very, very busy there, they are going, they are not going to explain to you much about the, uh, um, in, about that particular product. So that being the case, this online sales is going to give you uh, a platform wherein uh, the customers can also, I mean, acquire, uh, I mean, inquire the N number of doubts that they have about the product. And uh, you also can give them uh, the patient reply for all those uh, questions that is going to be asked by them. Okay, um, after listening to all this, had you undergone any low moments in your life while doing this or otherwise? And if no. so, then how did you cope? Like, you know, when mm -hmm. one is not, um, if it's not in this, because this is still a new process for you, but personal life. Uh, yes, ma'am, I can very well understand. Uh, uh, the thing is that for any startup, for any kind of business, the startup especially, uh, there will be certain hitch in the beginning. That hiccups will be there. Uh, so we have to move up from that hiccups because I myself, when I had the first day of my business startup, I mean, started up with the WhatsApp group and having uh, made up my uh, Insta and then uh, forming a Facebook page, I was having my own doubts whether mine, uh, I mean, I, I'll be able to get up, uh, I mean, up to the expectation or at least will I be able to get few customers wherein uh, customers will be trusting me or what, uh, whether I'll be having, uh, I'll be getting genuine uh, dealers for my uh, business, if I'll be able to uh, cope up with my family life and at the same time, this business life also, because I cannot compromise for my family for uh, this particular uh, I mean, business, though I'm a homemaker also, because I need to have a proper balance between uh, everything. So all these was going into my mind initially when I thought of starting up this particular uh, business. And as I said, in the beginning itself, family support plays a very, very, very pivotal role in this. Uh, without family support, of support without the uh, support from my husband, without support from my children, definitely uh, I don't think I would have been able to cross up this three months itself. So the reason why I'm coming to you right now also, it's only because of my family support. Because as I told, for a homemaker, uh, be, uh, 
this particular support is very 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 important from the initial stages onwards wherein they will be the one who are going to uh, convince you if at all you are going to be low they know the reason for like why you are low <laughs> they know the reason like why you are happy also so hence uh, i feel like uh, family support plays an important uh, uh, role for any kind of startup and especially for uh, homemakers if you are going to think of this kind of business that's wonderful and warm wishes to each member in your house for supporting you for this startup thank you so much and any uh, memorable experience you had any unique uh, moment if you would definitely. like to share i i definitely like to share because uh, as i told you mine is a startup it's only going to be uh, three months wherein i start up my, started up my uh, swasti trends on the vijayadashmi day uh, which was like october 14th uh, last year so that being the case within a span of one month itself uh, god uh, when by god's grace i was able to get one international order uh wherein i was able to uh, i mean i i can't say like the margin was too high as well but i was able to i mean uh, live up to the expectation of my uh, customer she had the trust in me she was behind me asking me please show me this because she is staying she is my very closest uh, friend over here in dubai only and uh, wherein she was asking like she wanted to gift uh i mean uh, give it as gift like uh, 10 to 15 sarees to her friends wherein uh, like she wanted to place an order with me so uh, she wanted like few collections to be shown to her wherein uh, uh, i as since my dealer was so uh, gracious enough so she was also much patient in uh, i mean uh, in giving me all the products that i wanted so uh, that international order it boosted my confidence in this particular sales because uh, as as you know like when when you get one particular order itself definitely your esteem your confidence level it is going to be uh, i mean little bit higher because just as in the cricket when you are going to score uh, like 50 uh, as how your uh, i mean confidence level gets increased right so it is the same way like you are going to get an international uh, customer when you are going to get an international order just as you started up your business because of the trust that they had in you uh, is something uh, really very great so which i uh, definitely value it which i very much treasure it that's beautiful because yes trust does play a crucial role and the support as you had said from friends is also very important and i'm really happy that you had that uh, order initially because th that leads you from that place to where you are right now having more happy customers and exactly. delivering on time exactly exactly correct so that's wonderful and before we wind up anything you would like to tell those people who are planning to do any startup um uh, firstly those who are wanting to start up uh, this kind of business or any kind of business for that matter my very best uh, wishes to them my congratulations to them uh nextly patience is going to be the mantra for the startup because as i told you for any business be it an online one or you're going to have an on site kind of uh, business or whatever be it uh patience is the key for uh, any business that you're going to uh, uh any business that you're going to do so uh, because as we uh, see now uh, everything like people they want is like quick like 2 minutes noodles so it, the business is not going to be like a 2 minutes noodles wherein uh, everyone can be uh, next day like an uh, i mean ambani <laughs> right so that that is not going to be possible at all so as we all say like uh, rome is not going to be uh, built uh, i mean built built in a day right so and similarly yeah and similarly like uh, not all days or sundays as well <laughs> right so uh, some uh, blacks will be there some whites will be there so dawn and dusk definitely it is going to be part and parcel of everyone's life so we have to uh, come across everything for you should not lose your confidence at any point of time 
So that is very, very important when you're going to start up any kind of business for that matter, be it whatever, that uh, confidence, that self, uh, that perseverance, we call it, right? The determination, your uh, passion, your dream, whatever the, we call it, right? So that you should be uh, always should be going uh, some uh, behind your mind, which is going to push you to achieve that. So when you have that uh, push some something from behind, so definitely you will be reaching where you want to go. So that is what uh, is my little advice that I'm, uh, I would like to share to those who want to start up. That's a very powerful advice because uh, yes, enthusiasm should not dim at any point of time, because as you said, there will be black and white moments during that process. And uh, um, do you have any contact number or any uh, you know, social media handle if you would like to share wherein people I do. can reach out to you? Definitely, ma'am. I do have my uh, Insta page. It is uh, at Swasti uh, Trends itself. And similarly, I do have a WhatsApp page also, a uh, WhatsApp uh, number two, wherein uh, if people want to connect, they can uh, do so. It's, uh, it's a business account. I can share it to you across as well. And similarly, I do have my FB page also, wherein it is also uh, named as uh, Swasti Trends only. So through these social uh, platforms, definitely people can uh, uh, reach me. And whatever support uh, that is required, well, I, I can definitely assure the needed uh, support for them. Thank you so much. And uh, to all who are listening right now, I will be sharing the links that ma'am is going to share along with the post. You may contact her gain some more knowledge if you are starting a startup and do spread her swasti trend tag and the social media platform with others so that more people can have the exclusive saris that she is uh, selling online thank, thank you, you so, so much, much. thank you so thank much thank you so Thanks for this wonderful opportunity. And it's so nice that I was able to share uh, my little info, uh, my little knowledge about what I'm doing right now with you. Uh, definitely, uh, I feel like uh, people who are interested to do these kinds of online sales will be motivated to do as well. So very best wishes to you too, ma'am. Thank you so much. Absolutely, it's always helpful to listen to somebody who has started because it gives them a it gives them the confidence that yes it is doable and uh, together with each other's help we can move forward of course correct thanks a lot ma'am and uh, may your prosperous work be more prosperous and all the best to you Thank you. Thank you so much for your wishes, ma'am. Thank you. Take care and be safe. Yeah. Bye. Bye, ma'am. You too, please be safe. Thank you. Bye. This is Mrs. Sharda Sundareshan from UAE and founder of Swasti Trends. Her journey was enriched by various educational endeavors which kept the spark to do something in life alive. As a homemaker, later on, she managed her passion and responsibilities with a smile. Using her tech knowledge, she found her niche. Slowly and steadily, she started her startup Swasti Trends. She connected with genuine dealers, not compromising the quality and established a transparent, trustworthy Rapo both with her clients and suppliers. Her vision is to spread positivity by advocating steadfast determination and trust in oneself in whatever one is doing so as to attain great heights. On that inspirational note, I end this episode. Hoping to see you next week with another dynamic guest and their story. Till then, Take care and be safe. Bye.